Many of you that have been following me for some time know that both my mother and father both come from rural America. And some people are under the impression that you are safer there. Think again. Rural America is not safe from CV. It's not. In fact, it's going to be even worse for them because there's not that much, um, you know, medical care is not accessible like it is here in the city and suburban areas. But in rural area, it's a lot more difficult. They've had hospitals closing, doctors that just simply don't want to work there for those low salaries, you know, and it's difficult to be in a place like that. But people have lived there their entire lives and they're just used to it. But it does not mean they cannot get CV. Rural America isn't safe from CV. This is March 26, 2020 from Yahoo Finance. Looking at a map of CV cases nationwide, it's hard not to long for home. All right. So New York, as of the 26, had 31,000 cases. South Dakota has 41 cases, one of the smallest in the country so far. And it is everywhere. We know that America now leads in having the most cases of CV on earth. It is no longer South Korea, Spain, or Italy. It's the U.S. And you can best believe rural America has CV cases too. You know, I did a story a little earlier of city people flocking to the deserts and mountains trying to avoid CV, you can't hide from this thing. In fact, you know, the fact that you're flocking there, you're ultimately going to bring it to those people. Just like rural areas, people are thinking, oh, well, you know, I can go there. I won't get it. You'll end up driving CV right to the rural area. So no, that, that is not a good way of thinking. It is so bad, y'all. There are locations that are thinking about live streaming funerals and so that people don't have to physically go and view a body. You'll be able to go on live stream to view your loved one, you know, because they don't want people gathering for funerals unless you're just the immediate family. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, people think because the population is definitely more sparse there, it's safer, but there are many problems in rural America. Money has always been a huge problem there, you know, and people are always complaining about the health care and people are always complaining about the Internet. They, you know, they don't really have strong Internet or anything like that. So I would imagine a place like this that would get hit would suffer even more than a lot of other locations because these people got to travel so many miles to get food and so many miles even to get to the nearest hospital or doctor. You know, everything is far apart. It's not like places are right in your backyard. They're not. You know, but some people, like I said, they like living like this. They enjoy it. You know, when my parents left rural America and came to the city, the one thing they said they liked was the conveniency of everything being around. When they were growing up, they had to, you know, walk so far away to get to the nearest of anything, you know, even grocery stores. But you know, these remote places give you privacy. It does, you know, give you a lot of separation from people. People are not usually living on top of each other. 
you know, where my parents came from, there were fewer homes on a street. So you, you don't have 30 houses or 40 houses on one street. I think on the street my grandmother was on, there were barely, I would say maybe 10 houses were the most on the whole street. That was it. <laughs> that was it, 10 houses. And there was a good distance of space between those houses. So, you know, living is definitely different, but it doesn't mean they are exempt from it. And I think some people are under that impression. I was looking at some of the comments. Some people believe that. Oh, well, you know, I can leave the city and leave the suburb and go to a more rural area. I should be safe there. Not necessarily. You know, I, I don't know why people think there's some sort of special hiding place out here. There's not. There's not. <laughs> you know, you know what they say, that death angel can find you anywhere. <laughs> you, you probably can go down in the sand. It'll find you there too. But y'all, please tell me what you think, because there are a lot of misconceptions and this is why so many people are trying to move around and get out of certain locations. But the rural area is not exempt. It isn't. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.